heart stirring within him. His heart and spirit beating as one, as his spirit hovered over the face of the deep. As his spirit moved the waters, his hands forcefully took hold of the boy. It is a story like no other. The image of God's own hands forming something out of nothingness. His own hands working the earth as clay. And in the darkness, God whispered his first words to the earth as he said, Let there be light. Faster and faster his hands moved and toiled the heavens and the earth and everything in them found. At his word, trees sprang and the rest of root. Darkness transformed into greenery as vegetation filled the earth. Rivers and streams and oceans appeared in places of arid land. God's hands placing sea creatures in bodies of water. In a loud voice he said, let the waters teem with living creatures. And all at once there were whales and sharks and countless species of fish. Then he filled the land from the smallest of insects to the kings of the wilderness, lions to dominate, zebras to gallop, gazelles to leap. One by one, he filled the animal kingdom with creatures that moved along the ground and wild animals that marched upon it. Like a painter with an empty canvas, he painted the world with variety and color. Creatures to crawl in the soil, and creatures to trample the land. Creatures that dwell in the trees, and others that ran wild beneath the skies. Four-legged beasts in the company of winged creatures. Winged creatures that soar high above in the midst of stars and clouds. At their song, and in their flight, they would awaken the sunrise and close the day 